Hi guys, it's Jack here. Today I've got a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on the 3.13 firmware. Um, there's a couple of things I want to go over first. If you've got an iPod Touch 3G, no, iPhone, sorry, 3GS, this won't work, so don't try it. So you'll only end up breaking your iPhone. Um, if you've got an iPod Touch 3G, this will not also work. Um, if you've got an iPhone where the serial number, the serial number you can find in, you go to settings, and then general, and then about, and you go down to serial number, can't see it, but if the last two digits are above 45, this is an iPod Touch, so it's going to be different. If, the last, if those two last digits on the serial number are above 45, don't do it, because once again you'll only break your iPhone. Um, if you're using an unlocked iPhone, don't do this as well. If you like, um, want to use it on any network, don't do it. Um, if you've got an iPod Touch that's got the model number, you go to settings, uh, general, about, and you go down to model number. If the first two characters of it are MC, these are MB, you probably can't see it, but the first two digits of the model number are MC. You don't want to use it, you don't want to do this because the going to break it. Um, there probably is a different way, but I'm using this on my iPod Touch, that's MB, so I don't know how to do that. Um, I've got my computer here, there's two things you're going to have to download, which is Red Snow and the iPod iPod firmware 3.12. I know this is 3.13, but apparently it's be the only differences between 3.13 and 3.12 are to stop you actually jailbreaking it. So I don't know, I don't know the technical stuff, but if you follow this, it should work. Um, I just should point out that I'm running 3.13, obviously, and I haven't done this yet, so it could go wrong. But we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, I'm not accepting any liability for anything that goes wrong, so do this at your own risk. Uh, if you have problems, I could help you, but chances are I'm not. So please don't have a go at me if you do end up breaking your iPod because of this. So the first thing you want to do is download Red Snow. Well, you download both of these. I'll put the description uh, link in the description for both of these. So we've got. You want to click on Red Snow. Let's zoom this in a bit. You want to click Red Snow, Run, and then you do this, you click, so zoom back out, you got this here, just basically says some legal stuff I guess, and then you click Browse, uh, Desktop, and then click on the firmware, Processing Firmware it says right there. So you wait a little while to its process. This does take a long time. I will cut, I'll probably will end up cutting some of the state parts out if you do see it jumping a bit because this is quite a long process. So it's processing. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um. Oh god, what's the doing? It's weird. Right. Okay, my mouse needs to be playing up. Give me a sec. I know what it was, sorry about that guys, I had my tripod on my key so it was messing it all up. So basically this is saying, is this an MC model of the iPod Touch 2G? If you're not sure, you can find find your model type in your settings general about screen caution. If you have an MC model with it and you don't correctly have identify here, you, then you need to do a f full official restore to fix the mistake losing any unsynced data. But I do that anyway, so... Uh, you want to click no, obviously if you don't, if you do you want to click yes, but I'm not quite sure what, what other stage this involves. Right. Alright, sorry guys, I was a, little, a bit confused there. I thought it was asking me to select the firmware again, but it wasn't. So what you want to do is click next, and then click to the server and it will deal with this. Right, so, basically you've got some options here. Do you want to install Cydia, Verbose Reboot, Boot, which I'm not quite sure, Custom Boot Logo, which means when you boot up you normally get the Apple logo, but instead you can get whatever you pick, Custom Recovery Logo, I'm not quite sure what that means, and Already Pwned, so if you already jailbroken your iPod, you want to select this one, and then you can change any of these options on top of that, but I'm just going to go for Install Cydia, because that's the only one I know what it means, I'm not very good with all this stuff, so you click Next. Right now it's saying, zoom back out. 
please make sure your device is turned off and plugged into the computer. Is, is it, yeah, if it is not plugged into the if it does not plug the device in to the computer first, then hold down the power button on the edge of the device first, and and slide to power off appears, and then then slide to power off. Click next only when your device is off and both plugged in. Right, so we've got it plugged in, as you can see from the lead. So we're going to turn it off. So you keep your finger on that button. Slide to power off. Right. Turning off, the click wheel should come up. The um, little scroll wheel, there we go. Then once it's off, we'll click next. So we're clicking next now. Right, so now it says hold the button. Right, so you just follow the on stage stage stages now. So it's basically hold down the power button for zero seconds without releasing the power button, hold down the home button. And now it's doing it, I think. Yep, here we go. So you follow the on stream stages there, so it was a bit too quick. I wasn't quite sure what to expect there. We've got a white screen, which is always good, I guess. It means it's doing something. Uh, updating, waiting for reboot. It's doing it. And look, here we go. It's downloading jailbreak data. So we've done it. Um, sure, that was a bit, bit haphazard there, the, um, entering, it's called entering DFU mode, if you didn't know what I was doing there with the power button, so basically it's just entering restore, so it's, re so it's, um, kind of, basically you can enter all the software into it, um, what we've got here on my iPod, as you've probably just seen, is downloading jailbreak data, I don't know how long this is going to take, if it does like, take a long time, but as I said earlier, I'm going to, oh no, wait, so it's done. So it says done on here, so we'll click finish, and we'll see what it does now. It still says jail done, downloading jailbreak data. I'm sorry this video has been a bit haphazard today. Uh, I haven't done this before, which I probably should have. Well, I have jailbroken before. Oh yeah, I should. I have jailbroken before, but I haven't jailbroken like this before. I used black cream before, which was a lot easier. Um. All right. So now we've got the. Uh, pineapple that did take a bit longer than what I was expecting. I was starting to get a bit worried there, but um, it seems to have worked. It's uh, downloading stuff. We're doing something now. We've got the pineapple, which I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's just the symbol for the jailbreak. I guess that's what it could be classed as now. Um, it seems to be doing something along the bottom here. Um, as I said, that probably took about four minutes in total to uh, download the jailbreak software, which I guess is kind of good for what you get, but. As I said, I was starting to get a bit worried. Um, this seems to be going quite quick, so I won't bother cutting it. Well, I'll just let you see how long it takes. Um, I think after this, we're done. But we'll find out in a minute. Rebooting. Flat screen. Right, so that probably took about a minute and a half. Um, we've got this uh, the, cli uh, the, 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 the pinwheel turning here. So, and here we go, it looks like that's done. Let's go back to City and see if it's done it. Um, as I said, I have jailbroken before, so I'm quite used to it. Uh, we want user. Hmm, should we have hacker? No, I'm not a hacker. Let's use user, graphical only. And loading data. And it's downloading the release here. Got the home here. If anyone hasn't jailbroken before, um, I was kind of a bit confused at the beginning as to what to do, but it is very, very easy. I'll probably put a video up just kind of going over the simples of it after this. It's loading data again for some reason, but yeah. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll leave your questions and any suggestions for any tutorials you want below. Um, I think everything might be below now, but if it isn't, please read the description in the side for the links for this, and thanks for watching, again, bye!